Hey guys, this is Allison from Alley Cat Creations. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I also have another channel. It's Alley Cat 211 Oracle Readings. For anybody that just wants the Oracle readings, I upload the readings to both pages. So no worries. I had a very positive response to the spirit reading. So I'm going to do another one for everybody. So we're going to ask spirit what messages from spirit above, anybody who's passed away, spirit guides, what is it that they want you to know? So we're going to dive right in. So I want to thank everybody for joining me. I do private readings. So if you're interested, you can email me. That's all linked down below. This is a general reading. So take what resonates. Spirit, what is it that you want to share and tell the collective? What messages, Spirit? Also, just know that spirit is only a thought away, whether it be a guide, a loved one that's passed on, angels, whatever you work with. Spirit, what do you want to tell the collective? What messages? What messages, spirit, do you want to give to the collective? What messages, Spirit, do you want to give to the collective? We'll pull another one as the last one later. So we have, I'm not dead. Because we are immortal beings. I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. It's not your fault. Wow. So guys, I know from my personal experience um, with what I am, you just, your energy, you transform. Your soul does not die. Your physical body does, but your soul, your essence, your who you are, it does never, never, ever goes anywhere. Okay, it just transforms into a beam of light. Okay, and a lot of the times our loved ones don't express the love that they have for you, but they do it from the other side to make it up. And whatever it is, we all come here with an arrangement. Okay, so we all come here with arrangements and whatever it is, it is not your fault. It is how things are supposed to be. So I'm going to read a little bit further on that. So I'm going to start with, I am not dead. Only my physical body is gone. And I now know that our bodies are just a small part of who we really are. I am aware that you miss my voice and physical presence, but my soul and spirit are very much alive. The times when You've felt my energy. I really was there next to you as I am now. We each have a unique energy fingerprint and you recognize mine when I'm with you. Trust that feeling. I am actually more alive than ever before. Gone are all the distractions and stressors that I allowed to rob me of the enjoyment of my life. Now I see how trivial everything was and that all that ever mattered were the important priorities of love, family, friendship, caring, and helping. But I've also discovered how to turn my regrets into learning and growing. I ask you to do the same. I now see that I never had anything to fear. There is no death and nothing bad can ever happen to anyone in spiritual truth. Of course, it's important to be smart and careful and always follow your guidance. 
but please don't forsake joy because of fears, because there's truly nothing to fear. Wow. I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. It's funny when I first came over here and had a chance to look back at my earthly life, I realized the way in which my own insecurities and fears held me back from expressing the true innermost parts of my heart. I was so caught up in my own day-to-day -day life that I didn't take the time to express myself like I should have. If you could look up to the sky right now, you could see I love you written by the clouds and colored by the stars. From my spiritual perspective, I know all the little things you did quietly for me, and I can't thank you enough. Love continues to live on in your heart, and together we can be assured that it can never die. Wow, that is very, very powerful. It's not your fault. Please do me a really big favor. Stop beating yourself up, thinking that you caused my death or were in some way responsible for it. You were not. It's so hard from the earthly level to understand the spiritual elements of life. No matter what you think you could have done or should have done, I would have left anyway. I am releasing you of any responsibility for my leaving please let go of any guilt it will not it will make us both feel better the universe is perfect in its makeup and what we think is a coincidence is just god's way of reminding anonymously trust me be kind to yourself knowing that what i share with you is true So guys, in all honesty, I took care of my mother and I watched her die and I tried every which way thinking that I could have prevented and stalled out her death, which I did for a, a few weeks. But in the end, I knew when it was her time, she had to go and I had to release her to God. So, you know, could she went to better doctors? Could she went to the better hospital? Her fate was her fate regardless. That was her contract with God. We all have to come to an acceptance with that. It's not your fault. And let go of the guilt. Because we all have a contract upstairs with the big energy that determines what is going on with our lives. So just be mindful of that. Spirit, what does spirit want to tell everybody? How, what message do we have? Just know they're always a thought away. Always a thought away. Spirit. We have divine masculine. What else? What message do you have? And we have enlightenment.
light that supports desire and inspires action. This is divine masculine. Everything has its purpose. You will not always understand what the purpose of something is. However, it is someone's creation and that is to be respected. If you don't like it, let it be the inspiration to create something more aligned with your soul's purpose. Consider all areas of your life and reevaluate any part that may not be working. You may be your own father by respecting your ideas and providing a way for them to manifest. You are a master of your own making, so now is the time to recognize your inner strength and motivation and be a leader of your thoughts and emotions instead of a follower. Stand your ground, regain your self-respect, pick yourself up and dust yourself off. This is not a time to force any, to force against or tr try to control external forces. This is a time for disciplining the way you focus and what you think about so you can create your dreams. So this is what your loved ones or your spirit guides are telling you to do. Okay. Be an inspiration of your own self. Step into your creative power. Stand your ground. Give yourself respect and dust yourself off. And this is not a time to go and, and be a force against anything. Control the external forces within. Use that focus. And we have enlightenment. Evolution is guaranteed. You are awakening up from your old habits and patterns. At times you may feel bewildered or not quite like yourself. Relax, all is well. You are just keeping up with your evolution and the life that you desire. Your body and mind are adjusting and adapting to your new and loving soul perspective. It is common for your mind or body to resist, react, or panic when you experience the unfamiliar or unknown. However, from this high vantage, you can change any story that splits you into two and heal any wounds. You're not trying to replace a negative memory with a positive one. Instead, you see all the components of a memory so that a new conclusion can be formed. An unbalanced memory creates a trauma every time it is talked about or remembered. This event or person will be Blames for pain in your life today. Balance memory has no charge or activation and becomes wisdom. You may even come to see a challenge as the best thing that ever happened to you. Once you change and heal your opinion, enlightenment will shine through as wisdom. So that is definitely two messages that spirit wants you to consider about yourself. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? And search for a spirit message. What message spirit does spirit want to give? We have change. What else spirit? We have passion. Change. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and birth of the new.
passion, the frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies a hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this in intensity, moving us from chaos to calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. So guys, spirit is really coming through right now to tell us what it is to be successful, moving on from them, knowing that it's not your fault, knowing that you need to love yourself, strengthening that divine masculine portion of yourself and it doesn't matter if you're a man or a female that's we inhabit both sides knowing that change and passion those frequencies the things that you need to focus on they're not bad things making sure that you have enlightenment because they're always going to be with you always going to be with you Spirit, what messages do you have that spirit want to give <coughs> for the collective? What does spirit want to give? What messages? What messages does spirit want to give? Breathe love into your life. Remind yourself to breathe. Enjoy where you are, for soon you will be somewhere else. Beautiful. Spirit, what does spirit want to tell those seeking a message from them? What message do you have for those seeking a message from spirit? What else, spirit? I got two, so we'll take it. I am loved beyond measure. Ties right in with that. I seek truth and act upon my realizations. Fits right in with that. I can guide and lead others wisely and with love. What message does spirit want to give? What 
I'm so spirit, does spirit want to give? Courage to step into life, perfect storm. When the perfect storm appears, it cautions you to be ready for an exciting, if turbulent time. The winds are picking up and you need to make sure that you are close to the eye of the storm or you will be buffeted by gusts that may take you far from where you need to be. The key is to remain centered and balanced and bear witness as the forces build in intensity. Notice how the loose stuff is starting to fly around and recognize how little of it you truly need. Let go of these thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes that clutter your heart and cloud your mind. Then the storm will be absolutely perfect for you. If you wonder what you might lose during the perfect storm, know that it is those things we are most attached to that are taken first, as if life was trying to unburden us of our righteous self-importance. Let it all go with the wind. The less you resist the change, brought by the perfect storm, the happier you will be. Ride the winds to your next destination. Embrace the rain or snow. Remember that every time you try to argue with nature, you lose. The perfect storm can also be a call for you to seize the moment. There might be a great opportunity that you need to take advantage of right now. Carpe diem. Here, time is of the essence. It may be gone shortly, so do not hesitate. Go ahead, bite off more than you can chew and take the storm on in its intensifying greatness. Experiencing the fullness of life, you will succeed. Wow. So that is a message from spirit to you. Spirit, what message does spirit have for everybody? message from spirit does they have spirit what do they need to know power dragon Card suggests it's time to step into your power and take charge of your life. Look to see if there is anyone in your life who is trying to run the show. Speak your truth and take back authority of your own life. You're ready to stand in your strength. If you lost or given away your authority to someone or something else, it's time. It's now time to reclaim it. If you're holding on to limiting beliefs, or if you're afraid of being shunned, judged, or ostracized, it's time to let go of those limitations. Release any fear of misusing your gifts. True strength does not dominate or manipulate. It's a gift from the creator that dwells within you. You have the spiritual power that's born of secret love, wisdom, and grace. This ability can heal others and bring light into darkness. You are a radiant, glorious being. The dragon, the spirit of dragon says within you dwells the remarkable power to manifest your dreams. Great, gain great riches and activate ancient wisdom. Take back your power and express your strength with grace. Wow. So you are being led down a path that spirit wants you to know that you have it within you to move on, to be the powerful self that you are, that you just need to let go of certain things you know, when people pass away or you're in a troubling time, people don't act as they should and things become very hectic or very upsetting and uplifting. 
an upheaving in your life. So just make sure you know that you have the power and that you have the courage to go step into that life, into the storm. Spirit, what last message would you like to give? The ones that came to see. Spirit, what one last message do you have to give? I am so much better now. I know you worry about me and you wonder how much I suffered in my life in passing. Both you and I would feel so much better. Though, if you would focus on the present, I promise you that I feel a million percent better now that I'm here. Your love for me is a true miracle, especially after all that we went through together. I value and honor your love more than you will ever know. Now that I'm out of my physical body, there is no more pain and suffering. I'm free. My mind is also healthy as I no longer have to worry about any of the stressful parts of earth life. Truly, the only thing that would make me happier is for you to be happy. And as much as you pray for me, I pray for your happiness too. I love you. So guys, that is a powerful message from spirit. For whoever needed to hear that, this might not resonate with everybody. I'm not done yet. But I just wanted to put that out there. Archangel Michael, what prayers can we give to those that need some upliftment from spirit? Angel Michael, what prayers do you have from spirit to those who need to hear? What else, spirit? Just been with that again. What else, Spirit? Take your time making this decision. My prayer, Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relax as I approach the situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. So many of you might be caught up in a situation right now. So if you, if this resonates with you, you can pause the screen so you can read this prayer out loud. The person you are asking about is trustworthy. My prayer, thank you for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. So 
So if this applies to you, it might not. You can pause. Decide to be happy now. Thank you, my prayer. Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. What messages do you have for encouragement? What messages do you have? What messages do you have, Spirit? What messages, Spirit, do you have? Choice. By staying conscious of your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. So guys, remember when going through this and, and spirit is giving you a lot of messages here from enlightenment to balance your divine masculine, you know, to embrace the change, to have passion, enter that storm. You have the power to do so. You have choices, so make good ones. And they're always with you for those things. Stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. So sometimes when we are sitting in our stillness, we will get a lot of messages from them and how to guide us along. Strength. You are being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. So guys, they're always with us, helping from beyond. Okay, so just know that the story that's unfolding here is messages for you, whether some of it will resonate with some of you and some of you won't. But that's okay. Just know that there's so much better. And this is advice from them. Okay. Spirit, how are you guiding? What messages? Again, take what resonates, guys. Spirit, how are you helping those right now? Aurora of Gamma. It's time to let go of what has been. You are swiftly outgrowing your past. Explore and commit to a spiritual practice that supports your personal transformation so that you cross the threshold before you now. Embrace your freedom to be creative in your approach. 
rather than doggedly committing yourself to your precious ideas or plans. You have the spiritual intelligence necessary to evolve. Continue your healing journey with trust that a positive outcome is imminent. Aurora of Gamma indicates a shift into a new cycle, but also the growing presence of light within, which is the creative light of spirit. Tur tuning into that light opens up portions for living soulfully away from the grip of ignorance, no longer con constantly ensnared by the compelling, but ultimately fraudulent conjecturings of ego. Her new era is an inner transformation with positive external consequences. Trust in what your inner light is manifesting in your heart and in our world. So guys, I hope this helped anybody that needed a message from spirit. This is messages directly from them. It might not resonate with everybody. That's why I pulled a lot of different cards so that at least you get a message, but just know that they are so much better now. It's not your fault. I am not dead because they're living energy. They're with you all the time. I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. And they do show you this love through being with you through these transformations that we're all going through right now. There is a change here. There is passion. And I hope that within stillness and strength and choice, and by accepting these affirmations, that you find some solace in knowing those things. If you would like a personal reading, you can message and email me below. That information will be in the drop box. I hope all of you got something out of this. Sending each and every one of you love and light. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.